So, what will it be? Gay son or thought daughter? Hmm, I'll pick. Congratulations, you got loser daughter. Now, what is the definition of a loser daughter? When it comes to these archetypes, it's really an umbrella term of what a girl embodies, like social awkwardness, playing games, watching anime, homebody, etc. But a loser daughter doesn't have to portray all these characteristics at once. But it's more like a state of being. To be cringe is to be free. Firstly, you need a room to do all your loser activities. This kind of comes close to being a basement dweller, but if you're me, a bedroom dweller, since basements aren't really common where I live. Now, this room is basically your sanctuary to escape all your problems and responsibilities that comes outside of it. It's the reason you rush home to escape all your social interactions. Now, since you're spending pretty much your whole time in this room, at least make it nice. At least maintain your sanity. Main features of the room should include a PC or a laptop, since that'll be the source of your addiction. And some cute merch in your room to decorate the walls and everything around you. For merch, it doesn't have to be expensive. Most of the posters I have are printed out. The stuff I'm showing is just a collection I've built over time. Also showing some of the collages I made. Just milk the colour printer from your school. I've literally quite done this from secondary through sixth form to now uni. Besides printing out, you can also buy prints from cons etc. There's a huge array of artists selling their work online so if you want more unique merch, then I also recommend that. Or if you want to be serving cunt craft addiction, then you can also make your own decor. So just a few that I've already made on my desk. I have this Sealy I've made, which is kind of Wanderer themed. I also have some photo card holders. They're really nice and easy to make out felt. Also, I got this postcard from a Genshin event. So if you do touch grass time to time, then usually these pop-up events, they give something out for free. You also need hobbies that you can brain rot to, which is most likely watching anime, shows, or playing games. Personally into this mix, I also draw a lot and have a lot of projects. So honestly, these alone, I already lock myself into my room. Shameless plugin for my art account. I mainly draw whatever brain rot I have. But I'll also be doing a lot more art content on this channel. Other hobbies could also include reading, cosplaying, journaling, collecting trinkets, TCG, the list goes on. Just fill your room with everything you love. It's what gives me inspo to stay creative. Now, another trait is that you're most likely lazy. This is when you need at least one parent to cook your meals. Because let's be real, you probably can't cook for sh- It saves time for you to play games like Genshin or JRPGs like Persona or Final Fantasy, Kingdom Hearts just anything that would increase your delusions with characters if you like Kingdom Hearts, then you're a mega loser I'm telling you, Kingdom Hearts shifted something in the universe now, with everything that you're doing, you most likely have something else in the background you mindless brain rot iPad kid Choices can either vary from music, a YouTube video, or a live stream. Most likely, VTubers. But it kinda turned back now. For me. Your whole routine is basically living on the internet. You're just bombarding yourself and overstimulating yourself with information. And you kind of just morph your mind into the cyberspace. Since you basically live in your room, Experiencing bedrock will come and go, especially when daily routines start to feel repetitive and stagnant. There's a lot of traits that can cross over to being a neat, 
but I'm also currently a student, so it gives me a reason to leave my dungeon once in a while. Now, of course, there's a lot more to the mental health struggle, and it's something I'm trying to get better at coping with. Just a disclaimer of this guide as a loser daughter is really just my own experiences. So you don't have to relate to every single aspect I listed, except avoiding social interactions. There's other traits like being a thought daughter and a girl fader, which can overlap to being a loser daughter. And I will continue to document my experiences in future videos since I enjoyed making this one. Especially my experiences as a girl failure at school and at work. I was also inspired by Didus basement dweller video, though at the moment animating is a lot of work while being at uni. So I found this format of video is what I enjoyed making. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and support this channel for future uploads and also check out my other silly art I make. And I'll see you losers later.